YouTube. Hi YouTube. Let's get some musica in here. Oh, musica. All right, cool, Blackman. <laughs> no, that's the wrong musica. That's the wrong number. Hopefully, this isn't too loud. Alright. I hope I'm streaming to Artilia. Can anyone double check that I'm streaming to Artilia? Have perms. Parker, op me. <coughs> I said op me or something. I don't have perms to move around this goddamn mumble channel. I gave you streamer perms. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't put I didn't put streamer perms for fucking one second. <laughs> You're <laughs> bad. I know. I didn't put the ACL. There's the Parker I know and love, calling people out on their badness. That How's Parker never went anywhere. I know. I just never, I haven't talked to him forever. How's Maine, dude? Uh, Maryland. Same thing. Try now. Try now to enter Tufts. And actually, now I'm in Virginia. Even, even closer. Yeah. And, uh, if Jakosh was here, he'd be sitting behind me. Cool. Oh, you living I'm with Jakosh right now? Just right now, while I try and sell my house before I find someplace else to live. Cool. Nice. But enter XXX or Dust, should be able to. I can't enter any of the team channels. Give me a second. Ordered like Vex, because remember Vex always had like the black wool last, and it was like the hard ass one. Ah, uh, that makes sense. It was the hard ass the one? The was like underground. Yeah, that, that's the one. Welcome, Keanu. Uh, where's. Can you read? We're, <laughs> we're learning how to play the map. Obsidian block. I'm gonna punch him across the obsidian. Keanu! <gasps> Keanu. <gasps> Keanu! Mm. Keanu, you're not streaming for us, though, are you? I can't hear you. If you're trying, he's, he's, not, he's not able to speak because he's been muted by the channel. Why was he muted by the channel? I thought he loved it. Mm, he does. He's streaming, maybe? but he's streaming, so he's not allowed to talk. So oh shoot! Whoa. Oh my god, strange with the knockback hacks. Yeah. We should probably actually discuss this Monday. Okay, why is my ping to everybody on the server so awful? Keanu, my ping is Reno awful no, to everyone no except for ZZ and Pizza. My ping is terrible to everybody except ZZ, Top, Strangey, and Pizza. Strangey is the only one I don't have a horrible ping to. And myself, but I mean, no. Um, I have I've one bar to myself. Do you really? Yeah, That'd be kind of sad. Okay, so you're to yourself. We're Noxus. Oh my god. You gave me permits for the wrong lobby. Wait, <laughs> who am I streaming for? I don't even know who no. I'm streaming. You're streaming for AOS versus Team Illuminati. You gave me permits like for the wrong lobby. Yes, I was. I was. I <coughs> Parker, you'd be proud. Hmm. DAE Battle of Ages. Oh. <laughs> what about Battle of Ages? That was a good map. I like that map. I, li I know, and I've got it on my server with, with authorization oh, okay. to update it. I just haven't got a point to. I haven't got to the point where I'm updating it. Yeah. Can you snowballs or eggs in creative? What? <laughs> what? That's so dumb. Carson, you give me yeah, perms yet? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you should be able to enter our lobby too now. He's bad. He's really good. The top of this thing, and you have to get up there and then click 
the button. So, it looks like... So, hey, Keanu. Yo, can you guys, like, write me some Whatever. Okay, so, reversing King... And League is so easy, too. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's you can't touch cancer, guys. First it's team so touch a wall. Oh first, my god, dude. First team touch a wall on cancer's cancer placed on the monitor. Wait, are we actually oh, 3v4? Wait, yeah, is this actually 3v4? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Come on, I want a 4v4. That would be more fun. This is bullshit. I'll join their team. You guys can 3v4. <laughs> no, fuck <laughs> you. No. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, guys, we need to take one of the people off our team so it can be fair. Um, I mean, we can stop an Azric for them. <laughs> Is that, if that's fine. We'll give him. We'll give. We'll, we'll give him Faker. That, that's that's. We'll give Faker. <laughs> we'll, we'll give that, him Faker. That no, let's give him Keanu. We'll give him Faker. Okay. We'll give them a taco. No. Yeah. <laughs> a ta just as like just like a taco wearing. No, we give them eye touch nipples. Wow. <laughs> contra nipples. Oh my god. I touch contra nipples. <laughs> Fucking die, Char. So Char. So Char. Um. Yeah. Char, we gotta yeah, no, okay, cool. we like Char, we Char. What we gotta do is we gotta make sure we win this because we uh -huh. this match this match actually maybe. Oh, hello. Hey, how's huh? it going? It's going <clears throat> well. I'm actually I'm... pretty sick, so my voice uh. is gonna be weird. <sighs> Everything's all done. Hey, Carson. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna boot up the stream now. Yeah. Carson, can you check that my stream's good? Sure. Thank you. It's all good, Keanu. Awesome. <coughs> uh, change the stream title. Oh, fuck yeah. Language, Mr. Christian Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you, where's that even come from? Oh, I go to a Catholic school, so whenever anyone like swears around me, I'm like, HEY! This is a Catholic environment! I go to a Catholic school too, but I'm not Catholic. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, who gives a fuck? To be honest. <coughs> I swear like nine times more in real life than I do online. And like nine times more vulgar too. Alright, so it's all it's all I'll take this your title. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go yell at Arkham to get on the server. So, what are your interests? Me? Yeah. I like to get to uh, know my streaming partners better. I like taking long romantic walks on the beach. Uh, your turn. Uh, I like video games. Oh, me too. <laughs> um, I like drinking water. I like being alive. That's that's a big one. Eh, I could, couldn't be bothered, really. Yeah, I feel you. <clears throat> You guys ready? We're about to do the sumo. Hi, Carson. Oh shit! Hello. Sumo. That's right. All right. Let's let's get the music off. Oh, I have my music on. <laughs> uh, I had I had I recently refound. Um, this is a Japanese song called "I Can't Beat Airman." And yes. Like, yes. Okay. Yes. I know. <laughs> So I know I, this I song. I just like I, for, I send it over to uh, Food Cloud because he was complaining about not being able to beat Airman, and I'm like, oh, I'm listening to it again. I'm like, oh, this song's so good. It, it is a good song. Good. It's also a very hard song. All right, so we got some teams. I haven't bothered to follow anything at all because I am the best. Uh, so I'm gonna assume that Keanu knows more than I do. Oh, Introduce the team to sh shit sake. Okay, one of the teams is Team Illuminati, and that team is the team with BZ Steve and the other team is Arkham uh D Dios Deus. Okay. I honestly uh, don't team know. Team Illuminati, dude. uh were Burnt Potato Famine. They played Rush for Strong Arms D five. Um they lost some Living Sun. So they've been around for a while, they're friends. They're uh 
There's probably, only, which, would, which one's Burnt Potato Famine? Uh, Team Illuminati, which is Charburg, uh, okay. so, Can I make a request? Yes. So every time we say their name, can we say Illuminati? Just like that? Um, oh. I won't be able to do that. My throat's I, gonna kill me. I don't think I can do that either. You can do it if you want. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, cool. So we got then, Burnt Potato Famine. That and... <laughs> And and uh, Arkham Deus. Deus Arkham Machina? Deus was just everyone who I don't know. So that's uh, GPG playing for Illuminati. I don't know that. Okay, so for Team Illuminati, we have GPG or Gunplayer Gamer, uh, Charberg. Where is Charberg? Charberg. Oh, oh, oh is this a test? Yeah, this is a test. Okay, okay. Uh, he would use the AR countdown if it was the real one. Um, okay. And then we have Captain Mercury, and finally wrapping up Team Illuminati, we have uh, BZ Steve, which is right here. Okay. And then for Arkham Deus, we have Ace Flyers, where is he? Ace Flyers, and Skula, and Black Demon. She was off. Charberg wins. Oh. oh. Called it. Oh. <laughs> Rip Black Demon. Right. Called it. <laughs> Rip. All right, so it <laughs> looks like Team Illuminati is going to be picking blue side. So the map that we're playing today is Twisted Desert. Uh, I call conspiracy that they won the uh, sumo. <laughs> yeah, man, the Illuminati is behind it all. Half Life Three confirmed. <clears throat> um, Mr. Muffin or Sir Muffin, yeah, do you uh, yeah. are you well acquainted with this map? I am half acquainted with this map. I, I'm assuming, like, I know the map, uh, but I don't know what the current meta is like. I, I watched a little bit yesterday. There's something about rushing for diamonds and being like PvP not being that big of a deal anymore. Okay. Yeah, this this all this map is all about outpacing. It's not about like a, you can do you can do stuff to delay the other team, which can excuse me can like really help you. But there's no like permanent lockdowns. Right. Does anybody do crazy pearls in the beginning? Always. <laughs> always. Always. Yeah. Always. And then if they mess up, they just run the long way. Oh, God, yeah. I remember 404 strategy the, for this map. That was crazy. The gauntlet of shame. They yeah. have to run. The, the walk of shame. Does anyone still yeah. do corner cannons? Um, kind of. Oh. Um, at, on sec seconds, like, not a good lockdown at all. Like, as long as you can have one person covering you, and there can be four people on another team, and you can still do it. Okay. All right, well, let's do, let's do a quick rundown for this. Anyways, uh, drop down is this pond right here. Right, there's an initial little hut here for people to grab stuff. They have this walkthrough through the middle. The monument is up there on top of this thing. Uh, we got the village over here with some resources underneath. First wool is this mob dungeon. You gotta bring some torches, do some torching, uh, so redstone torches rather. Torch the little little waypoints and then collect your wool at the top. Moving along, we've got the pyramid and the crypts over here and the sphinx. Underneath the sphinx is wool number two. This was meant to be a PvP wool because it's reflected against the wall here, but you guys were telling me that it's not that locked downy anymore. Uh, beyond there is this excavation site. That is the site of the third wool. It's a dungeon, PvE dungeon deep inside. Uh, although there is a little bit of this PvP-ish stuff right before the entrance into the actual crypts. And did I miss anything? Nope, that's it. Uh, nope. And also, the, the desert is twisted, yo! Very twisted. It's very, twisted! Very twisted Normally, indeed. for Race for Wool, Race for Wool stuff, we see two parallel lines, two parallel lanes, even. Uh, in this case, the lanes are spiraling around each other, so while you're in one point, like, for example, third watches first, uh, the village here watches second, and vice versa on both sides. It's actually one of the key selling points of this map. It's what makes this map interesting. You guys ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah and of course, ready, somebody so... totally ruined it by having the untwisted desert. I don't know how to get up. TP. Yeah, oh. TP. Well, I didn't want to be here. Do I have to oh, be you... here? No, I, I should. Down. Oh, well, you'll drop. See? Oh, I don't want to be down there. I want to be. All right, well. I'm going down with the red team. You want to go down with the blue team? I don't think he's going to have enough time to get over there. Ah, let's do it. <laughs> Yahoo! It's a me. All right, I'll fly over to take a look at the blue team then. Uh, blue team <coughs> is the Illuminati, right? Yep, and uh, red team is Arkham Deus. Arkham Deus is playing A3 B4 today, so that's probably going to be a bit difficult uh, for them. That sucks for them. Yep. So what happened so... there? Do you know what happened, Cam? No, I don't. Um, their fourth player just refused to play. Uh, that's what it was. 
does he really hate this map that much, or are they just having like some internal rifts? Um, I'm pretty sure he just doesn't like race fool, so he's just like, I don't want to play. <laughs> okay. Oh, so he after, so this is the second round, of course. So after the, he played the first round, and he probably decided this is not me. This is not my thing. All right, so yeah, it looks like Charburg hit the Ender Pearl, but where did he throw it? I wish I had been paying attention to which direction he was throwing it. I was not watching him either. But he um, did hit the Ender Pearl. Also, just teleport to the bugger. Uh, Charburg is down here. He is just before the crypts. Ah. And he is collecting the loot. Actually, no, this is the pyramid, so he's collecting the loot from the pyramid. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's a common uh, throw yeah. to be making. <clears throat> It's not a super difficult one, you just gotta arc it a little bit, because you can't just straight toss it. Yep. Um, the people who practice it get to get her done, you know? He's yep. gonna go into Sphinx. So we have three players from blue wow. over here. That pearl basically <laughs> didn't do much. People just ran around and got here anyways. Yep. They got the iron, and the iron will give them a pick that will allow them to get the diamonds. Yeah, they're gonna um, want to get those diamonds before the other team yeah. blows them up. But it doesn't look like yeah. the other team's gonna have any chance to do anything of that get sort. There. Yeah. Yeah. How far behind are they now? So blue team Illuminati definitely outpacing. Looks like they're getting pinned up here by uh, Captain Mercury, who is holding them down, stopping them from making this crossing a little bit. They did get the bridge. Uh, one of the classics of Race for Wool is a choke point near the beginning, and this is it here. Uh, basically, you have to bridge somewhere. So sometimes people can get locked down if they are very good. And it looks like they're Oof. rotating over here now, getting some shots around behind, getting the angles on Captain Mercury. He's gonna get shot a little bit, but he's near the beginning, so it's gonna be not a big deal. No big deal. So it looks Whereas like Charbur any... is gonna be making a cannon here. Oh. Whereas any kills. Uh, at this point, beyond that starting point, will cause some delay. Oh, Did he hit okay, it? Interesting. Oh, almost. He, he almost quite... hit the iron. Yeah. So this iron is meant to be a primary resource thing, but because of the pearl skipping and stuff like that, it's now more of a secondary resource spot. That's like short. The interesting yeah. thing about Twisted Desert, since the entire like desert, the entire map is just made out of uh, like sand and sandstone. You could just carve oh, through this. Go. There you go. Ooh. Oh, I still missed one, but left he one, know but that. he did. Yeah. Uh, although Charburg here could, uh, not Charburg, sorry. Uh, he could tell him if he's nailed it or not. But the mobs are already starting over here. This, of course, this giant dungeon thing is providing. Nope. Darkness of this area, and because it's daytime right now, this is the prime spawning point for a lot of people. Diamonds are already acquired for Illuminati, and they're going to be grabbing the mystical shovel and the ratters. So, Charbur's Cannon is just going to look to make this dungeon hell for uh Yeah, for and we saw this actually yesterday a little bit in one of the games as well, where they were just destroying this uh, entrance point. Uh, but it looks like they're going to make the approach for third wool. We have GPG uh, starting to dig down in full diamond armor, so well protected there. Um, Ace Flyer is just trying to pick up all of his uh, things, but doesn't look like that's going to be yeah. helping any. Who has an invisibility? Now, very fire? important is this chest with the redstone torches. If this chest of redstone torches goes away, where can they grab some additional redstone torches to fulfill? Or I guess they go with. Uh, they levers, would eh? have to go down to the mine and grab some redstone from there. Could they not do it with levers? You can do it with levers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's so that's a little that's a little bit easier. Although, yeah. Okay. There's some stone over there. I was gonna say because most of this map is sand and sandstone, it makes it a little bit harder. Man, the Twisted Desert allows for these uh, angles where you can get both sides, and you can't just make a one-sided wall. You gotta make two-sided. And Captain Mercury doing a very good job locking down basically the entire team. I think I saw all three members for uh, Arkham Deus. Did I say that right? <coughs> yep. Uh, yeah, and since this is a 3v4, it looks like... The problem uh, with making up names for people is that I just start forgetting uh, names. Yeah, it, it looks like uh, Illuminati has decided to just dedicate Captain Mercury to um, being that fourth flexible man, because uh, Markham Deus only has three people, and Ace Flyer is getting shot in this little pyramid that still isn't lit up. Um, that's a good note that no... there's no torches on this map, like no extra torches, so come night, this is going to get very interesting. Neither oh, so team. there's no free torches. Well, well uh, oh, no. In the beginning of the map, there is, but there, there are. isn't. There aren't any torches given out down lane. Yeah. Uh, okay. So okay. neither team has uh, lit up their lane. Interesting. 
So that's... I see two people, or maybe one person and a speck in the crypts here. Uh, with GPG, as you called them. Yep. The bats are super annoying. I think, I think that is the number one threat in this. Getting in the way. Very easy to kill, you still have to deal with that. Doing pretty well here. Getting a little bit of lag spikes, but. They got taken down, so they got a little bit of reprieve from PvP pressure right now. We have Charbor for Team Illuminati, basically inside like a mobile box at this point. Oh wow. I'll check it out. Check, check, check it out. Oops. With uh, probably no fire from from Arkham Deus, who's a bit busy. Yeah, oh, they're and... busy dealing. Yeah, he's got it now. That's the first wool touch of the game, so Charbor just needs to get Scion Wool out of there. Yeah, and there's a um, bit of a passer in area. Couldn't you just put it up here and then collect it later on? Yeah. I noticed that he didn't do that. I guess he just feels confident that he's going to be able to run it. Probably. Ace fires running second wool for um, Arkham Deus with no oh. one noticing him. Well, I think Captain Mercury was there previously. He's probably keeping tabs on them, I imagine. Uh, I don't see him anywhere right now. I think he was just collecting his stuff. He's still keeping people pinned and pressured at first. Pin cushioned. Yeah, I see him watching first, so he's not going to be over here. But considering the pace, I don't think uh, Illuminati really cares too much. I do want to see Arcandeo maybe get a fourth. If they know that their third is not going to be around, they should uh, go ahead and find a friend who might be interested in playing RFW. Captain Murphy here, just trying to lock down people <coughs> in this hut, specifically school. Huh? Um, it looks like they're just going to be. Ooh, just go looking yeah, over there. Did he just get lost here? Because he's heading back. Or no, he's heading in. Sorry, yeah. Um, you can't change your roster once the tournament starts, by the way. So you can't oh, really. Oh, that like... sucks. Yeah, but um, there are eight man rosters, though, so they should have enough. I guess they just didn't have other people around at the time. Mm hmm. Ace Flyers without a pick, unfortunately. How's GPG doing on uh, third there? Let's go check up on him. Sure. <laughs> Decides to take a break. Like, there's no problem here. Ace Flyers is just gonna make a pick. They say, screw it, I'm not punching through cobble. GPG slowly making it through, making good use of that diamond armor. Uh, taking the front force of, I think well, that was one creeper blast. But he still has eight hearts, so looks like he's gonna be able to get this wool without any problem. Yeah, Ace uh, Flyers just walking into second mid to get a touch. Ooh, that could have been very dangerous. He's gonna wanna. Okay, he did grab. Every single one of those wool in about Yay. two seconds. So GPG making his way up. Ace Flyer also making his way out now. He took pretty much every single one of these wools as well. And doesn't look like there's anybody watching him, so he's gonna make it out pretty safely, I would assume. So now two touches for Illuminati. They just need first, which is actually probably the hardest wool on this map. I imagine, uh, when you don't consider PvP. Yeah, it definitely takes the longest. Um, yeah. And if you um, uh, apply pressure with cannons, like you see uh, Team Illuminati did um, at uh, Arkham Deus' first, then it becomes really tough. I don't see anybody in here. They might actually dedicate two people to do the run. Is there any way to kind of cheese this from outside and doing, like, powering the sources from outside? Uh, no, there isn't. Alright, Ace Flyer is making fixed. his way out with Cyan Wall, and that is yep. Cyan Wall secure for yeah. uh, Arkham Deus. So not a total blowout, oh, yeah. which is great. I, I think that makes you feel a little bit better, and hopefully they'll be able to add some people to their roster if they had, you know, eight man. Yep, but here's where that, uh, that no light on your lanes is going to come right. in trouble. Right, just sets his bed here, so he is going to have a nice respawn point for himself. And he's gonna maybe just do a quick blitz. Nighttime is actually the best time to tackle this dungeon just because mobs are spawning everywhere else. And that might be part of the strategy is to bo not bother lighting yeah. in order to get the mob spawns el elsewhere and hit a mob cap so that the dungeon's a little bit less tricky and less crowded to run through. Looks like he's gonna harvest this wheat. Get some sweet, sweet bread. What is your favorite kind of bread? 
Sour Support the audience. I like I like uh, Hawaiian bread. I am Hawaiian bread. rolls. Remember Hawaiian rolls? Yeah. Ever had those? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I like um, sourdough. Even yeah, that's very good like, as well. Sourdough is like so gross to make. I don't know if you guys ever made sourdough bread, but it's so gross to make, but it is just so good. Like it has that nice sour taste. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's called the name. sourdough. Yeah. Just Thank watching uh, school at mine out he's diamonds. Um, I'm wondering how much has 18 diamonds on him, so he might be looking to make a full diamond set of his own. Uh, oops. Charmberg not actually going to go tackle first, he's going to head back here. I thought he was going to go, but he didn't go. And it looks like Ace Flyer is going to be the wool runner for his team. He's getting some sh pressure? No, actually, that is just... No, that is Charmberg shooting at him. But he is making the approach for third right now. Yeah, and he's going to be in trouble here because that's a that's a one-thick passage. So Ace Flyer is going to have to make his way out very quickly before Charmberg pins him down. But I, was the skeleton shooting him or Charberg setting shooting him? I'm pretty sure it was Charberg because I thought I saw the arrows coming from here. It was Char. He's just uh, having problems with mobs, so he can't shoot at him right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Ace Flyer probably doesn't even realize it. He just sees some skeleton on the other side and he goes like, "Oh, maybe just the skeletons are shooting at me." Yep. Uh, but if he had some doors, I know he had wood. Let's take a look, actually. Uh, not enough wood to make a door, but if he had some doors, he could make himself a little wall within that one wide passageway. Nice flame bow, though. That's definitely gonna eat into Charberg's um. Food supply, but ooh, two people here now. Captain Mercury oh. as well. Charber defending this gate while Captain Mercury is shooting at Ace Flyers. Why Fires. not steal the gate? Uh, I gotta ask. Why not steal the gate? Close the doors. Use some doors. <laughs> I love doors. <laughs> ooh, Charber almost getting uh, blown oh, out. Oh, Black Black Demis Prime just got nailed here, and I think dropped most of his stuff over the edge. Where? He was trying to run behind this wall uh, in the excavation site. He was trying to run behind the wall here uh, from the fire, and it just got hit by the spider. Oof. He was going to try to back up Ace Flyers, but it didn't happen. But all the action focused over here as uh, Arkham Deus is trying to make a run for oh. the end of the Charbrick slim by his zombie at the beginning of first wall. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Illuminati trying to make a run for first, and but GPG is going to be here, full diamond armor. It looks like he's just going to look inside, drop some stuff off for Charberg, and then going to run back in. Nope, just going to be very, very intimidating. Posture up. But how far did Ace Flyer go? He got knocked out of the world, it seems, and dropped some of that wool. But he already had the cyan wool around. Basically telegraphing the information to the other team that they don't need to lock down second anymore because we already got they already got the wool out. <coughs> is back and doesn't see anybody to shoot. Let's see a flying feather around. Oh yeah, sorry. Are you firing this cannon? Ooh. And I uh, wait. Oh, he probably shot three TNT, so that cleared out all of Blacksmith Prime's inventory. I'm not sure if there was anything on him, but that did guarantee that his inventory was cleared. Mm -hmm. That second TNT, or that secondary charge TNT. And now it looks like they're just going to be just... Alright, I see Gunplay Gamer, or, yeah. Uh, he is making his way through first right now, doing some good work. And yeah, the mobs are very, very light right now, just because it is nighttime, mobs are spawning elsewhere. He walks into a place, there's maybe two or three only. Normally, if you come in first thing, uh, when the daylight's out, it's going to be cram-packed with mobs. But pretty, pretty easy right now for him. I actually get lost in this sometimes, just because it's so awkward to navigate. Sometimes you have to like jump on the roof of some of the pyramids, sometimes you don't. Yeah, BZ Steve is just gonna make this really rough. He's just carving out just like a trough in front of First Wool. If you wait a little bit longer on this TNT charge just like that, that was probably good. Yep. Oh man, this is gonna get nasty. Just taking arrows to the face doesn't even care. Ace Flyers is trying to go gung ho through here. All right, I think that is all the torches needed for your. GPU. Bit of a lag spike right there. Yeah, just lag spikes is good when you're dealing with PVE though, and maybe even PvP. <laughs> He's like a pin cushion.
squishy. It looks like a hedgehog right now. And he's still hearts, sitting though. and he's still at full hearts. It's ridiculous. Armor is too good. Should just give uh, everybody gold armor. Ultra hardcore. No. <laughs> yeah, that's just nasty. If BZ Steve had a bucket on him, he would. Oh! 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 Off the edge! Off the edge! See ya! What oh miss? dear. <laughs> Uh, GBG just went off the edge with full diamond. Oof. Uh, Where? Huh? At he top of the first. Uh. Yeah, he was at the top of first, and yeah. Just trying to get in here to get that wool. But it doesn't matter now, they can just scale up along the pillar up along the side, bridge over, grab it, throw it down, whatever, you know? They, they can always. The Arkham Nails could always can the, can the redstone torches, though. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but. They've got this, they've got they're locking them out of third right now, so yeah. it's not like they can even have a chance to set up a cannon. These aren't OTT uh, OCTC players; they can't set up a cannon. Like, drop the hat. So GBG is looking to just grab the wool and head over to the monument right now. And who is making the run? It is going to be BZC with some diamond and iron. He's got enough armor to just book it there, but looks like he's going to take the time to deal with this creeper. I think he might have aggroed that enderman as well. Let's take a look at what the uh, red team is doing. Uh, Ace Flyer is now in full iron, looking to make an approach. Oh, wow, I see this trough that you're talking about. It is pretty deep. Yo, this well is deep. And it looks like he looked at it and just got, nah, I'm not going to bother with this. Uh, meanwhile, he is getting some PvP pressure from Captain Mercury, who is not letting him cross easily. I see... Oh, actually, the entire red team is over here. Skula. Uh, Skula, yes. Skula. He's got the full diamond. Nobody bothered to uh, bomb the other the opposing team with diamond. It's not a big deal. Looks like... Ace flies here, grabbing some blocks that he needs to make a bridge across this trough. And it's gonna make it over here close to the corner. Whoops! Took a little tumble. We can blame lag on that. <laughs> you know, when you're placing blocks, sometimes it's really difficult because there's like lag, and then you, you place a block and then you fall through that block that you just placed. Yeah, I think that server's fine though. It shouldn't be lagging that hard. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to give him a free pass here. Oh, Alright, I see All the right, two... Like yeah, the two old places. Has, yeah, that was the one that GPG was grabbing. Let's see if BZ has made it in to pick up the first wool yet. Yeah, where is he at? Did he go down? Oh, he's up top. Oh, okay. We will be experiencing some lag here. Here we go. Because uh, whenever um, there's a bucket problem, whenever like redstone gets ticked, it like you're extremely likes the server. It's a bucket thing. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. Is the server not using uh, sport bucket? It, it I is. I would, uh, would really like to see him do a parachute drop. Come on. Aww, oh, he's not gonna go for the farm drop. I did the farm drop when I was on 404. <laughs> ah, can't get it anymore. If I had a bucket of water, I would have just parachute drop. But now water drops just are fun. Easy, easy Steve thing. just needs to get back over to the victory monument over there and place he it. He could just suicide. There's a guy there waiting for him to drop it. Yeah. Very, very they got good. no pressure right now. He can drop it, give his armor away as well at the same time. It's literally not not a big deal. There yeah. he goes. See? There he goes. Yeah! Die for the team! And <laughs> Charberg doesn't even bother to go get it. He's gonna get it. It's gonna be... GBG. GBG. Yeah, GBG gets all the stuff. Everything is mine. Absolutely no pressure. Pick up some armor. So many arrows. There you go. All good in the hood. He wants to yeah, grab those boots, well. I think. BZ is even is back already. He's just like, hey, can I have some stuff? All right, and now it's just for a gun player to game to really get uh, up there. He does have an under pearl, so you might use that just to new up there. Yep. It's not a big deal. Captain Mercury still putting some pressure on the other team, but nobody on the right side facing area to really stop this victory run from going down. 
Yeah, it looks like Red Team is just worried about themselves right now. Um, I think at this point, like, I mean, you must have known that you were behind. All right. And that you would have to Again. think about doing some kind of lockdown, but yeah. oh well. I'm gonna grab some people for the after game interview now. All sure. Right, sure thing. <laughs> I was gonna say there's a bit, a little bit bad manner there, but it was actually Skula who said easy. Not the Illuminati team. So thoughts on that match? That was a good match. I mean, yeah. uh, unfortunately it was a three v four, but they did do yeah. like they did. Pretty well against four. I, I really would have liked to see what they could have done with four people. Yeah. Um, I think like when they when they already started the match, they already knew they lost, and it didn't seem like they were trying super hard. Yeah. Uh, but they did get one wall. They almost got to another wall. Um, first wall definitely would have been an issue, but would have liked to see some stuff go down. Yeah. Um, Captain Mercury just being able to be like sort of the free radical, just floating around shooting whoever he saw. Uh, mm -hmm. Made that a bit of a, a struggle for Arkham Deus. Yeah. We here we have a, the house is lit on fire for Team Illuminati. <laughs> who could have done such a travesty? Uh, who could have done this? Burn down the stuff. Oh All right, God. so we've got <laughs> we've got Ace Flyers here from Arkham Deus and, and Gunplayer Gamer. Hello. From yep. Gunplayer Team Gamer. Illuminati. Hello. Hey guys. So uh, I guess. First off, let's talk about the 3v4. Um, from you guys, uh, GBG. Um, my what? team was busy x-raying on HCF, so they didn't okay. feel like getting on. Yeah. Moxie, M0XY, like, yeah, that kid. Harass him, please. <laughs> so, for next round, do you guys know if you will have a full team ready? Yeah, our, a fourth guy got on, a different guy that could have played, but he was like in a league game when he saw the Skype message, so... Uh, yeah. I think it's super important, man. That's, that's the it is! Range. He was like in his band. ranked matches. Yeah. He was gonna get to like bronze 2 or something. Yeah, yeah, it's ranked, and then like if you jump out of the game, you get like put into bad Q or something, right? I don't know, I don't believe. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right, but uh, for you guys, uh, Gunplay Gamer, uh, did you guys change your strategy at all uh, to deal, you know, take advantage of a three v four? Um, well, at first, actually, um, one of our players, Falcon, he couldn't make it, oh, okay. and we didn't, and we never asked any of our subs if they could make it, um, Azric and um, Captain Mercury, and when we heard that we may be playing a three v four, I completely redid our strategy in case that happened. And then one of, and both our subs came on, and I'm like, oh my god, thank god. Uh, but not really. Our, the, a 4 4 or 3 4 really wouldn't have changed our strategy, honestly. Like, it didn't change it much. Wait, okay. can one of you guys just show me where the other two wolves are? Cause, uh... you, were, you were digging down into it, Ace. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about the third one? That was the third that one. That was the third one. The first oh, one the... is in those diamond uh, <coughs> stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, the big. Oh, like... The giant tower, yeah. Oh, the that, first the wall, that first wall, Wait, though, so I... Uh, man. I could have just yeah, used I, an I ender pearl get... to get to the top, and then uh, there was... Well, yeah, there's four roots and torches you have to place throughout the wall. Oh, yeah. Oh. Get it. Oh. I got all four torches down, and then I got... Then he was climbing, and I died. And then you got <laughs> creepered, and then shot. And I saw I you try to air strafe back onto the lane, and then I know, was like, I was nope. like, yep, I'm dead. I, I knew once I... Once it happened, I was dead. I was like, yeah. damn. It was, so that, it was just I, a combination uh, of the, the creeper explosion and the arrow, it just took e me just outside. The easiest part, I died at it. <laughs> it I, I feel bad. Uh, but I mean, other bad. than that, you guys had a pretty uh, quick and easy game, it seems like. My yeah. gosh, my entire roster just decided to come on right now. They're all messaging <laughs> me on Skype. It's like, so we that's, that's They're amazing. like, oh, dang it, I missed it. Cause like the people that didn't were there were just like the people that bow and shiz. Oh yeah, you you can blame daylight saving or something. I don't know. I don't um, know. They just Char, didn't show up. Char to Char told me to say this. Um, he's he he wanted to say he wanted me to t say that he knows his cannons, but I said no, you don't. You fucked up. And I'm like, and I'm <laughs> he knows his cannons. Yes, say, it is very easy to load a singular cannon after and I, it's made and once. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say BZ knows, and I'm gonna say instead of Char, BZ knows his cannons because BZ did better. BZ. <laughs> Uh, that game, right. that game went pretty well. Yeah. Uh, I believe, you, uh, I believe we have a playoff now? spot now. 
I'm pretty sure we have a playoff spot secured. I believe. Yeah, you, just, you guys do because the two no teams are playing each other next round. Yeah, and uh, there's no way, like theoretically, number wise, that well there could be a tie. Well, and it's they, been, they, they, they're we're zero and two. Can we make it? Yeah, no, we're gonna no, try. We're actually, we're actually oh, gonna try in, in the. Peace. We're gonna try the remote lands game. I actually am really looking forward to that. Like, well, because um, it, how you guys do affects your seeding in the yeah, bracket stage. Yeah, I, I actually I cannot wait. Like that remote lands game is gonna be fun. Right. That's but all I'm players, gonna say about that. Players, yeah. I do encourage you guys to play another round, get some experience. Oh yeah, we're I gonna mean, play again, know. but we kind of just we signed up for this thing that we would look into and just like not too much, just strat, yeah. maybe play a bit, but uh. Well, at least else, familiarize like, with Amy, the map so you understand how the map app, works. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I will look at the map. Yeah. I was going to do it like today, and then I realized, I thought it was at 7 o'clock my time, but it was at 3. So, I mean, uh, what time? 1, so sure. rip. <laughs> Alright, uh, Kano, you got any questions for either of the captains? I don't, I feel like I'm going to pass out. I'm very tired. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, uh, thanks guys for coming chance. by. And yeah. sorry, sorry for, um, uh, like, Changing mumble the last second. No, that's fine. Not Thanks for hosting. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. I'm gonna see you next week. Thanks. Yeah. See ya. Cool. Cam, what is the next match uh, that people okay. can tune into? Uh, let me bring it up right now. Actually, um, I think there's one tonight. In yes, there is. Uh, at hours? seven. Yeah, at seven p.m. EDT, we have Chocolate Sauce versus Dixon Cider. It's being streamed by Honey and Keanu Laszlo. Hi. Oh, okay. Yep. So in uh, three to four hours, I believe that is the case. Uh, three, hours. three three hours and twenty minutes. Three yep. hours and twenty minutes. So tune back in if you guys uh, follow Artilia RFW. On Artilia Twitch. RFW. Yeah. Artilia RFW on tw on Twitter and Twitch and all those things. Twitter. Twitter. There is no Twitter for Artilia yet, sadly. Oh. Okay. Follow follow Cam on Twitter. Oh no. Follow our MC Turney because they've MC been tweeting Turney. out. All, yeah, they've MC been tweeting Turney. out. Yes. MC Turney. Sure. And that is how you guys will stay on top of future tournaments. Thank you guys for tuning in. I think that bye is bye. Good. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're off. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for streaming, Struffin and Keanu. Yep. No